Masonry walls are commonly used in residential family houses. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to verify masonry walls subjected to concentrated point loads from beams. Here are the steps I always follow when I verify point loads on masonry walls in my job as a structural engineer. First, I calculate the characteristic loads that act on the wall or beam. Then, I calculate the design loads with load combinations. Afterwards, we define the geometry parameters like thickness of the wall and width of the beam and material properties. Then, once all of this is set up, we'll do the ULS verification of masonry walls subjected to a concentrated load. There are many different types of masonry. In this tutorial, we'll use autoclaved aerated concrete units, which are classified as Group 1 according to Eurocode 3.1.1 First, we need to figure out the characteristic area loads like dead, snow and life load that act on the beam and ultimately on the masonry wall. To get the point load, we need to transfer the vertical loads through the building. Doing that is not the topic of this tutorial, but I'll leave a link in the description to a blog post explaining vertical load transfer step by step. I'll also leave a link to a free structural design cheat sheet. This includes all formulas you need to calculate loads. We'll verify the masonry wall for a design point load of 32.3 kN. The wall and the beam have the following geometric properties. The material of the masonry wall is autoclaved aerated concrete, which has these properties. In this verification, we check that the compression stresses or forces due to the point load from the steel beam can be taken up by the masonry. The resistance of the masonry is calculated according to Eurocode 6 clause 6.10 as 35.5 kN, where beta is an enhancement factor for concentrated loads and is calculated according to Eurocode 6 clause 6.11 with these parameters as 1.32. We can see from this visualization here that the beta factor depends on the geometry of the wall and its placement to openings. Now calculating the point load over resistance of the wall leads to a utilization of 91%. The masonry wall is therefore verified for concentrated loads.